Hello everybody, this is Carl out of Madden Farms, and this video is to cover two major things. Number one, to show you or to explain to you our generalized idea of what we want to do out there on this homestead community. And two, to explain the selection process for those that we are going to take with us. After all, it's got to be a very complicated and long selection process because we're going to live with you for the rest of our lives. And you got to be happy with that, and we got to be happy with that. You know, we got to know each other first. So, first, what do we want to do out there? We ourselves are being forced by our city to move out there sooner than we intended. So, we are moving out there in winter when there's snow on the ground with RVs. That gives us limited options of what we can do other than sit there rely kind of on this going into the city to dump our septic tanks rely going into the city to to fill up our water tanks in the rvs and things like that live off of propane and the gas of the machinery which is not the way we want to do this but it's what we're forced to do because we have to be as i said moving out of here sooner than we intended so we're not asking any of you out there to join us in that winter at all Come spring, what we want to do is we want to use a system called, I'm horrible at pronouncing this, so I'm just going to spell it, W-A-R-K-A -A Water Towers. So, Warka Water Towers. Um, these things are an amazing, beautiful art sculpture. Check them out on YouTube. Uh, a lot of the footage you'll find is in foreign languages, but just watch the videos, you'll understand. Um they make this beautiful bamboo bowling pin looking thing about eight nine feet wide and about 10 feet tall make 25 gallons of water in the desert every night on average so we come spring want to landscape these across the landscape they're very cheap and inexpensive to build and we want to put them across our landscape then run drip irrigation off of those and bring this back to life starting with cover crops and fruit trees and nut trees and truly turning it into a food forest if you are not familiar with food forestry again YouTube is the answer look it up on YouTube you'll find wonderful videos that will explain exactly what we intend to do where we're going to chicken tractor rabbit tractor and use these Wonka Waka forgive me again towers to create water out there on the farm now, yes, we also intend to probably, not guaranteed, put in a, a well and also to put in a, a septic tank come in the spring for the property. Also in spring, we intend to build Cobb, that's C-O-B, Cobb housing. It's a method of building housing with clay and sand and grass or, uh, I want to say hay, but that's not what I'm looking for. Straw, there's the word I'm looking for straw and it's relatively inexpensive to build beautiful homes and the greatest thing about it is on the last layering you put make primarily clay and then you can shape that clay into anything you want the side of your house it could have dragons it could have unicorns it could have trees growing up the side and then we're going to build living gardens on the roofs so that more food is growing our goal is to take this 20 acres and grow as much possible food as possible we want to be able to feed everyone. We want to also install in the spring a small campground area for volunteers that wish to come down and apprenticeship and work there. Not necessarily live there permanently, but people that we learned during this whole process that didn't get to be one of those five family slots that can come down and visit and see the property and you know spend a summer or hang out and help us build these towers and build this food forest and see how that is done. Which brings me basically to the selection process. The selection process is fairly simple. Email us, Facebook us, YouTube us, contact us. Once you've done that, we'll talk to you a couple times. We'll ask you a couple questions, usually what your skill set is, how many people are in your party that wanna come, things like that. And if those answers sound like the answers we want, even if, you know, I don't know if they 
what those answers really are because we're kind of still figuring that out ourselves but if they are if it's something we're interested in and you after talking to us sound like you you're still wanting to live with us crazy people who are willing to go out here and do this then we'll invite you to our Facebook group once you're on our Facebook group there you have to post a video post pictures of your family and you and with this video I need to see, we need to see proof that what you said you can do you can do now you can post that directly to YouTube and then link it to our page or you can post it directly onto our page either way hopefully you already have a YouTube channel I'll tell you what I'm only one of the 20 votes you got to earn but you already get a bonus if you have a YouTube channel in my book because I'm a YouTube junkie I love YouTube so um, as that continues on through this next three months process of you being in that group and getting to know us better and us getting to know you we're gonna select that down to the people we're still interested in I can't give you an exact number I'd like to say 20 families or I'd like to say 50 families and make it kind of a cool competition but it, we're not really competition here we're trying to decide if we want to become a family together with you because we're not looking for people to just take an acre of our land and go live on it separate from us that's not something we want we're looking for people that want to become part of a community unit that you care about each other's kids you help each other out you work the land together and grow the food together you know we're not saying that if you're disabled and you want to come out here that disqualifies you because you know what a lot of our members are disabled your knowledge might be all we need you know there is different ways that you can contribute no matter what your income is or no matter what your way is and we've been living together in a communal living for five years so we know how to work with different people on different ways this video is getting a little longer than I wanted it to be but what the heck um, after we select those few people and we move out on the land all winter long we're gonna get to know you longer and better and once winter is over when spring comes along we are gonna select five families to join us again those families can be friends they don't have to be blood related they can be your your team your guild your whatever you know um, we also have the reason we're keeping it to five groups even though we have a little bit left we believe we have enough space for a little bit larger than that is because we are hoping five different groups of people will scrounge up a thousand dollars and donate to our GoFundMe site this will help us buy these motorhomes right now that we desperately need to survive this winter so that we're not out there in tents so if you have a couple extra bucks I wish we could have done one dollar but the GoFundMe site the lowest lets us have as a package is five dollars so if you can scrounge up five bucks worth of recycling and turn it in for us please help us out we don't want to be stuck up there in winter freezing we know we can survive all 20 of us in one motorhome that we already can afford to buy but we're hoping to get you know around five different mobile vehicles whether those are vans that we can put a bed in the back or whether they are trailer motor motor homes themselves with the RV we need at least two of those so we have two working bathrooms and it's gonna be tough no matter how we do it so please if you can't afford to donate donate to our GoFundMe